So we finally caught a fish. <laughs> Apparently the trick is to just keep trying and eventually get a fish. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes in real life. I guess so. We got a fine, <laughs> fat fish. Oh, Not that I do a colorful. lot of fishing in my life, but, um, you know, that's kind of the impression I've gotten. <laughs> Dead fish. Oh, Ben. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm just on that edge right now, so be nice. <laughs> I mean, don't be too nice, because that'll make me cry. <laughs> Wee! Oh, they're already asking if you go way over the expected donation goal, what will you do? I don't know. We never... We never expect to go over the donation goal, so we don't, like, necessarily prepare. Yeah. <laughs> oh, quick, make a bee pun, otherwise you make a sense of cry. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh. oh, my first video watched by Quill with, was Democracy 3 with Senta. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am having a uh, pear cider. Oh, yeah, I wanted a sit because I haven't had, like, any cider this whole trip. Mm, it's very good. Recorderly, right? I think so. I don't think we bought Recorderly. I thought we bought oh, Copperberg uh, Copper, and yeah. Old Moot. Yes, that's right. So this is a Copperberg? Yep. Yeah, that one is mm. really good. I haven't had that in a while. Oh, man, I'm wishing we had another one. <laughs> if you go over the goal, use the extra fun start bee farm. Well, we don't get the money. Yeah. We, it goes directly to the charity, yeah. but... We won't yeah. touch it at all, so... <laughs> I work very, very hard to find charities that have, like, online... Their own online fundraising pages or work with Just Giving or CrowdRise or other, you know sort of third party things that it goes directly to the charity so that you guys don't have to worry about any you know you know about trusting us or anything like that it never comes through our hands so <laughs> mm -mm -mm. which is actually frustrating sometimes because occasionally you guys send me really amazing charities that i'd love to support but they've got a small website and they're not they don't have a presence on one of the third party like sort of crowdfunding sites so i don't feel like we can really go with them because I don't want you guys yeah. ever ever worrying about us keeping the money. <laughs> Not that we would, but you don't know that. So, thank you, Sealer Twenty Four. Random fact: Denmark has both the best and second best honey in the world. Nice. What? I. They must. I'm sure they have awards. There's awards for everything, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> Trip slash get well soon. It's such a time. <laughs> Hi, Biowolfus. Hi, Arthur Pendrag. <laughs> Wait, what? If we go over the expected goal, I need to force Quill to wear a bee beard. I don't know what a bee beard is. Oh, it's just like all bees. Just wearing You'd them. You'd be covered in bees? Yeah, covered in bees! <laughs> Anything that allows us to keep saying covered in bees, I'm pretty okay with, so. Mm -hmm. Finally, my peacock feather. I'm just sitting here thinking, yay, peacocks, and you're like, yay, I I'm stealing from the bird. <laughs> well, you dropped it. You didn't need it anymore. It was an old feather. It wasn't It wasn't pretty enough. He was like, I need to upgrade now. Right, yeah. I, mm -hmm. need, I need to look perfect at all times. You didn't even talk to the bird. You just stole his feather and walked away. How rude. Yeah, that is rude. You're right. And there's right. birds in this tree, and you're not talking to them either? Vanessa's See, tiny fairies guard the palace door. I talk to birds every time I'm outside. I'm always talking to birds. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's right. The fairies ran this way. That's why... That was our incentive for swimming west. <laughs> Stolen fail saying, oh my god, I remember this game. Memories. <laughs> Speak to the tiny little fairies that did not respond. Perhaps they cannot talk. Are we ever planning to visit Austria? I would love to visit Austria. Yeah, I want to see kangaroos. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> Another close, presumably off limits to invited visitors. Yeah, we don't. We really dropped the ball with not getting made, you guys. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we'll no, have to I feel buy dumb. mead next time we're out to celebrate after or something. I, I, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I could run to the Tesco. It would only take me, I don't know, 20 minutes round trip. Probably about that. I don't know. Oh, don't please don't. You'd not have to fall go pretty soon because you can only buy uh, alcohol till 10, I think it is. Oh, uh, okay. <gasps> oh, Janesta, she's ill. Well, we kind of knew that. Mm -hmm. We had a 24-hour window in order to save her, so. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing here? You're wasting time. Yeah. Very beautiful and serene. Oh. She lies still upon the seashell bed, her concerned fairy helpers hovering near, and her pet snow leopard lying close by. What? Oh, <gasps> my God. I mean, okay. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I There's one of one of these years we're going to be doing a, a, a big cat charity of some kind because snow leopards are like my babies. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed. Oh, they, don't, they don't want... You want me to talk to her? 
a passing a lever, right? I know. Like, is can that, I have, please? Is that a wand? Where? Oh, maybe. Or a sword? Or... Oh, it's private. That belongs to Janesta. I guess it is. Oh, I forgot I had to use that. And I need that. Oh. No leopards, do not talk. I'm disappearing because I just dropped things and I'm being clumsy. It's probably not a good idea. Petting a snow leopard is always a good idea. Always. I don't know what you're talking always about. Always pet the snow leopard. Is there seriously nothing we can do here? <laughs> pet kitty. Exactly. See? Twitch chat knows. It is just after 8 p.m. here. Anonymous Chocobo, by the way. I like all of Big Cat's Wolf Gang. I mean, if I'm forced to choose, Snow Leopards and Siberian Tigers are probably at the top of the list, but it's very difficult for me to choose. Feed the fish to the cat. Okay. What? I have a fish I caught. And you're gonna... Oh, I guess it's already dead if you caught it, so mm -hmm. that's sad. <laughs> Where did I put my water? Do you have any idea, Phil? <laughs> no. The fish, the cat doesn't want it. I guess he's just too heartbroken. Aww, because his human is dying? Or yes, his fairy? So. I guess she's not a human. I'm not gonna give her the apple. I need the apple for my dad. My dad's more important than the fairy. Plus, if we get the amulet back for the fairy, she'll be okay. Now the amulet is being held by Lollet. You must have left that out. Probably. It's too bad, I kinda need it. <laughs> Well, let's go back. The snow leopard only eats other snow animals. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Apple, yeah, we have a magic apple that heals everything. So we need to get it back to my father. But now, to do that, um, I need to get off this island. Or get, I need to heal the fairy so that she can send us back to my land. Give her the bone. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> hey, garden of sinners. All right, let's swim back. I'm sure nothing terrible will happen to us. Well. Ooh, pretty fish. I mean, we got here, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so in theory, we should be able to get back. <clears throat> in theory. Not that I'm, you know, suggesting You're getting very tired. It, uh -oh. <laughs> I'm getting tired. You're getting tired? Okay, I've been there, and wow, this is not going to go well. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! I'm tired to swim anymore. Your body gives out as you prepare to join Davy Jones's locker. Yep, just like well. <laughs> this is fine. We'll just try again. This is fine. Oh, there we go. Look, it's our friend. Hello. Good to my friend. Okay, Dory. Horrors! You've been swallowed by a huge whale. Oh no, it's we're Job. <laughs> Davy Jones Ooh. is a nice guy. This place stinks. Hey, Davy Jones and the monkeys is a nice guy. Hey, hey, where are the monkeys? He had a bunch of horses. He was a jockey for a while. That, that's my look. Okay. Pig <laughs> bottle. How am I not close enough? Okay. <laughs> People are just going, oh god, I remember this. <laughs> now, this is the part I couldn't get through on my computer way back in the day because my computer was too fast. Oh. And that made this very, very difficult. It was too fast? Yeah. I, I don't attribute that to a thing that happened back with those old computers. Well, because this <laughs> game was programmed for, like, really slow computers, oh, okay. right? And yours was too new. Yeah, and they didn't have, like, a time clock. Jonah. Right. Silver John. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I just misspoke. I'm really tired. <laughs> so this is what the note in the bottle says. Anybody out he out there? I had a condor drop this bottle in the nearest ocean to beg for help with King's Quest <laughs> One. Help me fight this fire-breathing back. Oh, that's unfortunate timing because we probably can't help anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's call him James. Oh gosh. There's nothing in the old boat. Didn't help James, and it won't help you. <laughs> Well, we got the bottle for whatever that's worth. Uh, well, some whales have teeth, yellow. Yeah, not usually like this big, but no, not exactly. But just go with it. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, this is such a pain in the ass. 
us. <laughs> what are you trying to do, Neil? <laughs> yeah, I I kind of expect we'll probably still play Fate of the World, Katie. It, it, at this point, it seems like we can't not. Oh, so close. We kind of camouflage with the gums or whatever that is. The tongue? I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. You got a zigzag? That's what Vale's saying. It, there's a path. And it's sort of invisible. Of course it is, because that's useful. <laughs> there we go, finally. Oh. Just follow the invisible trail, you'll be fine. <laughs> Use feather. Totally fine. Tickle tongue? I probably just spelled something wrong. Use feather on tongue. to be higher up not here oh there we go oh it's you tickle the roof of the mouth not the tongue oh that makes sense because that would make you yeah if you tickle the roof of your own mouth with your tongue it makes you kind of feel like yeah weird you frankly <laughs> tickle the throat of the whale with the big peacock feather you begin to feel a quiver under your feet which quickly turns into a mindly tremble suddenly you hear a thunderous achoo and you are swept out of the whale's mouth with, in, in a tremendous wave of ocean water um Again, you find yourself swimming in the ocean. I mean, to be fair, at least we were safe in there. Is there a shipwreck over there? Like, I'm wondering. Can we get to it? Or will we die of exhaustion? <laughs> I have no idea if that's where I want to go. Probably not. Oh! Or yeah. Okay. Um, we did get there. It looks like ribs. Find yourself stranded <laughs> upon a desert island. Also, it seems others uh, before you. See, uh, Yeah. Also... Also, now what are you gonna do? Um, look. There's a bird. Pelican. Yay, birds. Pelican visits you. Bird. Um, talk. You didn't Pelican. rescue James, the dead guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's trying to uh, give fish to Pelican. Try doing that somewhere else. That's weird. Okay. You have to be right directly under Pelican because, you know, you see deer. No. Birds can't fly. <laughs> ah. No, I scare him away. Hey, Ultratronic Scouting. Maybe he's gonna come back. Hopefully. Come back, Pelican. Dear diary, today I learned whales sneeze. <laughs> you can't really call it stranded when you swim to the islands, I know, right? Well, yeah, but, I mean, how oh. do we get out? Hey, look, there's another anchor we could try to steal. Yeah. And get grabbed by it. To Bellican. Oh, there you go. You had to be directly Thump. in front of it, because apparently <clears throat> we have really bad aim. As you throw the stinky dead fish to the pelican, greedily catches it in his large bill. As he does so, you notice something shiny fall from his bill onto the ground. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, I love that. Rain is it a key? To use the bottle to send a message to someone in King's Quest 6. <laughs> <laughs> Book. Ground. Oh. Shiny whistle. Oh, peak whistle. Head wound just raided us. Hi, head wound. Hi, welcome hey. Welcome, welcome raiders. <laughs> Hello. Um. Can you turn into a frog and ask the pelican for a ride home? That sounds awesome. Only one lonely palm tree grows here. Aww. Blow whistle. What? We have a whistle? Yeah, we got it from the pelican. He dropped it. Oh, it was, it was a whistle that he dropped. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you I was put busy reading, sorry. Shiny silver whistle to your lips and forcefully blow into it, producing a loud tweet. To your astonishment, a friendly dolphin appears nice. just offshore and jabbers excitedly at you. Yay, dolphins. <gasps> Hello. Talk dolphin. <laughs> yeah. Not quite. <laughs> um, ride. <laughs> I don't know, like, clearly two trees. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oops. Oh, they want us to dig before we leave the island. What? I don't know. It just says not here. Oh, is there going to be buried treasure? I'll just dig everywhere. Maybe inside the ribs. Yeah, other people are saying dig too, so. Aw, Hedwood, thank you. Keep up the great support. Love the cause. Already have my flower garden set up in the backyard. Very cool. Dig every pixel. It'll be fine. Can't take more than an hour. You won't get at all frustrated with this. It'll be fine. No, no, no. Vale is saying to try the boat. 
maybe you have to like get in it more. I'm not sure. Damn it. Try the anchor. <laughs> diggy diggy hole, yep. We're digging up all over the island. <laughs> Thank you, call me crazy. Almost looked like you fell off the island there for a split second. Was it behind the boat? Like, I don't understand. Where do we dig? Help us. Dig inside the left boat? Oh, like the skeleton of the boat? I mean, I did try to dig there, but maybe I was in the wrong spot. Inside the left, if I recall. The, wa the thing in the water in the foreground looks like an anchor. Black well, it's... Or, sorry. Flying... Flying hair? I don't know how to say that. Try the last spot you would think to dig. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much where it's gonna be, obviously. <laughs> Just think about how strong she'll be with all this digging. Oh, look oh, ground. You look at the round side of the wrecked boat. What is this? Why, it's a golden bridle! That you couldn't see from inside the... Okay, that was bullshit. That was just invented to sell hint books. <laughs> Probably. Because I looked, I looked at the ground, I did this, and you couldn't... Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. That is... Wow, that is wrong. Oh, we got it. Okay. Ride dolphin. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, dolphin. Here, you want a Jaffa cake to make you feel better? Yeah. <laughs> Jaffa me. Jaffa you? Yeah. Okay. Jaffa. I don't <laughs> now, I don't remember if I've ever tried Jaffa Cakes before. I'm not a big fan of orange and chocolate, so as much as I like biscuits, I don't tend to buy them most mm. of the time. I might have tried one in the past and I just don't remember, but I recently told some of you guys that I was going to try one, just to make sure, so I'm trying Jaffa Cakes. Yeah, they had a 1-900 number, and they'd make money selling these hints. Did they? Uh-huh. Wow. Charge you by the minute. That's just messed up. Mm-hmm. Huh. <clears throat> Call Sierra to complain. All right. So now we can ride the Pegasus, the unicorn. <clears throat> so what do you think? You don't like orange. I don't want to be kicked out of Scotland. Mm. I'm scared. Don't say it. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> All right. Where's... Oh. Where's the unicorn meadow? Yeah, I agree, Hakuna. I love pop knobs. Sounds like the first microtransactions, yeah. Oh, Jaffa kicks up with eight and <laughs> Stargate SG1. The parts that don't have the orange are really good. <laughs> the national animal of Scotland is the unicorn, Bedensis. Mm hmm. Because Scotland is a magical, magical land. It's true. <laughs> I figure um, Iron Brew is clearly the sort of thing that a wizard in Harry Potter would have, like, invented. Yeah. I mean, think about it. How much sense would that make? If Iron Brew was actually a wizard thing that, like, they somehow started selling to muggles? We've, it explains everything. We've kind of just determined that a lot of candies and biscuits and desserts and drinks and stuff like that that are just, like, normal Scottish things mm -hmm. sound very Harry Potter. Yeah. Okay, where's that damn unicorn? Where do we park our unicorn? I wouldn't be surprised if there's apricot in it, Sweet Orange Bunny. We're at, coming from North America, <clears throat> we kind of have like a little bit of a joke about how much Europeans and you know Brits and Scots and everybody loves apricot because it's everywhere on this side of the ocean, and it's not so much in North America, so it really like stands out. It kind of just says natural flavoring, so it's hard to know. <laughs> There is natural orange flavoring, but hmm, I don't know. Yes. It might have been not close enough. We have had haggis, yes. I mean, I've had only vegetarian haggis, but he tried it and said it pretty much tastes the same. So, <laughs> <laughs> as the beautiful unicorn offers no resistance, you gently place the golden bit in the mouth, in its mouth, and fit the bridle and reins over the majestic head. Unicorn looks at you with curiosity. 
See, I spent too much of my time going back and forth between the chat and the game. When did we pick up a golden bridle? On the island just now. Remember when I was bitching about the boat? Okay. And how, like, it was horse shit? Oh, the digging up was the bridle? Yeah, there was no digging. You just have to look at the ground oh. in the right place. I looked on the ground yeah. on okay. the island. Yeah. Well, I, heard, I heard all that. I just didn't catch what you actually picked up. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Have a tea cake. <laughs> They're mostly marshmallow. Yes, I know. Fried unicorn. <laughs> I've had them before. <laughs> Nimbly mount the magnificent unicorn, grab the golden reins, and set off towards Lollet's castle. Do I though? Do I? Do I really want to go to Lollet's castle? No. Can we go and like spear the giant with the unicorn horn? There's totally vegetarian haggis. It's made of um like well vegetarian like mince basically and like lentils and oats and basically all of the spices and the 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 bulking up stuff that you would put with the meat in the sheep's, sheep's stomach is mm -hmm. all is all there. So it effectively ends up tasting pretty much the same. It's it's pretty good, pretty similar. <laughs> uh, unicorn something, paralyzed something. <laughs> unicorn paralyzed what? <laughs> it went way too fast. <clears throat> you try to change the directory to save more games. Oh! That's true, I guess we could do that. Cherry J Joppa cake. See, I would try that in a heartbeat. Oh, well, it says, I hear you were a good girl and brought me the unicorn. It, I'm almost convinced you might be innocent after all, but she clears her throat. Not quite. Oh, -ho, this doesn't sound good, you think? <laughs> well, I could have told you that. <laughs> Well, it continues. I am desirous of the hen that lays the golden eggs. Currently, the hen is kept by the ogre and his wife. Oh, is that what I heard barking? <laughs> bring me the hen, and you shall have your freedom and a great reward. She keeps saying, if you just bring me this, if you just mm -hmm. bring me this, I'm, I don't trust her. She wants us to get our shrubbery. Take her away! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I still don't know how to deal with the freaking ogre's hut, but sure, let's see what we can do now. Totally figure it out. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I know, Katie. <laughs> yeah, Troon is on my list, Clapsticks. Uh, I can't believe the number of times I've been to Ayrshire and, and all the towns and stuff I haven't been to yet, but not sure if I'm gonna get this trip or not. So, we have to get a hint. Well, first we have to not get murdered by trees, which is a pretty big ask. Yeah, it really is, because um, so far we've had very little luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. That doesn't look like the ogre that we saw earlier. No, that must be his wife. Oh, okay. You better run. She'd like to have you for dinner. Is she dragging like a dead deer or something? That was awful. I wonder if she's in the house or if I ruined it. Watch out, a very unfriendly bulldog rushes towards you. Yeah, I was going to say, that's definitely a dog. <laughs> Give bone... Bone to dog. Thump! Catch! Quickly toss the bone to the big dog, who catches it midair. Happy with his surprise gifts, he takes it to his favorite rug, lies down, and begins to nod it. Seems to have completely forgotten about you. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Look. This isn't the most cozy looking living room you've ever seen. In fact, the ogre's yeah, house no. looks almost frightening. <laughs> Hey, Lord Cucumber. She's probably in the kitchen butchering the thingy, so... Oh, maybe, uh... Look. You've entered the ogre's upstairs bedroom where a huge bed dominates the place. In the left wall, you notice a closed door. Against the right wall leans the ogre's axe. I think we might have a solution to the tree problem now. Take axe. That, yeah. Seems pretty straightforward and reasonable. <laughs> Breaking and entering made easy, yeah. No, it's private. It's okay, we'll take the axe, but we won't, you know... Look under bed. But we won't, uh... Just randomly steal yeah. from the ogre, I mm -hmm. think, isn't it? Oh, that's a bear rug. Okay, I thought it was going to be a hole that we were about to fall into. <laughs> Door is locked. Okay, let's save again. Just replace the hen save. A dog looks adorable. I'm betting going into the kitchen is suicide. Yeah, it doesn't look great. Well, something horrible cooking <laughs> in the stove in the ogre's kitchen. Matter of fact, you get the feeling this is not a safe place to be. Yep. Yeah, kind of. Ogre sees you. Better run. Ah! How did she? Oh, crap. 
Teleport behind us! Yeah. I'll join the deer and stew pot tonight. Someone just finished saying, too, uh, you should save when you enter the downstairs closet. Okay, well. <laughs> A little bit too late. We didn't see it right away. <laughs> I have the upstairs save. It's okay. <gasps> we had 87%. Oh, my. Oh, wow. I don't want to look until we hit 90. Oh, there you go. Open you the door. <laughs> okay, I, I think this is going to be a different save. I just realized, I, I was looking for a, a comment I had missed, and someone had said, Haggis is only good deep fried and covered in salt and vinegar. I saw that. I think we found a Scott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look. You found yourself inside the ogre's small closet. For a closet surprisingly empty, you notice a large keyhole under the doorknob of the closet door. Look keyhole. Ooh, neat. So we're in the closet peeking out at the house? Yeah, but there's nothing going on right now. Hmm, okay. This probably means it's safe to leave. Maybe, uh... Or we're supposed to stay here until something happens. Until we see something, maybe. Like, we don't want to leave, though, do we? Because aren't we here to get the golden goose or something? I don't right. know. Right, which, you know what? I don't know. Is probably in the kitchen. Probably where it's being guarded nice and tight. Although I don't see anything resembling a goose. Oh god, we're bookended here by them both. Okay. <laughs> Wait till the wife leaves. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like, yeah. we have to watch until she goes. That's what I'm thinking. We'll just keep looking until we see something happen. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. <laughs> it's like fishing. Yep. Game about patience. Yep. I think how this game holds up. Then again, I played it CJ. Yeah, CJ would look very different from the VGA graphics. Yeah. I think VGA is also higher res, not just more colors. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the kitchen before she spots me. Like you're going to peek in and run out? Let's see if that triggers things. Oh, okay. I see. Can you hide in the barrel in the kitchen? I don't think we can get into the kitchen. Okay. It's like they heard something, so they mm -hmm. came to look or something. Hi, Flappy Dog. Hello. Oh, I think you need to go back upstairs, get the axe, and save the game, then try the closet. I think that's what we did, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we have the Yeah, we have I the think axe. that's what we did, though, with Vale. <clears throat> Use the bow on her, yeah. yeah. We've only got two arrows, though, so and we've used one on the unicorn, right? Yeah. V5, four, yeah. Four, I smell the blood of a... Uh... We don't know what, apparently. Quiet, you old goat and trough seal gris. That's just a deer you smell. You know how you get when you're hungry. Here, eat. He needs the Snickers. You're not yourself when you're hungry. <laughs> oh, Mr. KXXX, I love this every year. Thanks for this. Aw, oh, you guys. Just donated for the bees! For the bees. <laughs> Wife, shouts the ogre, bring me my hen. Lords of Waterdeep. With Briar and others, others of the YouTubes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or for the YouTubes. Good game. Lay, orders the ogre. With excitement, you watch as the hen lays a golden Jeez. egg, which the ogre takes. He On yawns, then falls asleep on the table. Soon, his snoring rattles the walls. Okay. Now, this is playing out pretty much exactly how it does in the real fairy tale. Mm. <laughs> Okay, but we don't know where the ogress is. <laughs> That's creepy. All right, I'm gonna save over the closet. Open door. Oh, goodness. You see the ogre sleeping at the table. You'd better be real quiet. Yeah. Take hen. Don't be like that. Run! Run. Your life. <laughs> Run! Sparrow. Open door. Squawk, squawk! Oh, the hen is woken the ogre! Oh, run, 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 run. <laughs> I don't know how far I gotta run. Press. I don't know either. It stopped me from moving for some reason. Oh. I think we're probably fine. Oh, okay. Or play the flute. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. Sparrow, sparrow, oh, sparrow hawks said the secret's out. We tolerate cool so we can have a yearly ascension fix and occasional talky love. <laughs> and Gilbert occasionally too. So are you suggesting that we actually have to like hurt these trees? Um, what happened? Did we become one with the tree? <laughs> become one with the tree. What the heck is she doing? 
The trees tremble at your might, and they are frightened by your axe. They will not bother you further. Oh, we don't have to hurt them. We just have ha, to brandish it. Ha. Like, I have something. Fear me, for I have axe. Yeah. I don't know if that works on all the, the trees simultaneously. Let's find out. Yep. Although, when did we last save? Just recently. <laughs> okay. This looks like a thing later on. Yeah, it does. Really? Mm -hmm. You lied. <laughs> the thing is, at this point, I actually don't know, like, if there's anywhere... Oh, with trees we need. Okay. That's creepy. This is a thing. Yeah, I mean, it looked like it would be. They're bad, evil trees, I promise. That doesn't mean I want to hurt it. There's lots of bad and evil in the world. That doesn't mean I want to go out and, like, you know, attack it. This is a dismal and dreary cave. In the center of the cave, over a hot fire, boils a foul-smelling brew inside a large black cauldron. That sounds this lovely. This is fine. Yep. Ouch. Skeletor's lair. That's what it looks like. Take potion. We're back to, nope. uh... The Tales of Bee Man here. Pure and wholesome place to visit. Yep, yeah, totally real. You can even see, like, the outline of the skeleton, or the skull still from the inside. It's creepy. It comes across a giant skull cave. This is a thing. <laughs> I have a bottle. Oh, yeah, stop burning yourself. Okay, seriously. I'm not near the fire. Uh, <laughs> fill. You're like, settle down. Bottle. Right? Like, how big is the skirt? <laughs> Did it work? No. Oh. I don't know. I'll come back. Okay. Do we still have the fishing pole? Can we put the bottle on the end of the fishing pole and, like, fish it into the stew? <laughs> Maybe. That sounds complicated. Oh, it's just that way. Yeah, there's no way to do that. Oh, yeah, it's just the ground through the thing. Okay, I'm gonna go and turn in the hen. Oh, okay. Hey, gunman. Thank you and happy birthday to you. How do we get past the creepy trees? We we waved an axe at them. We scared it. They're terrified. We scared them. Yep. Do, 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 the end wives. <laughs> We're just going to wait for our, uh... Yeah, for our ride. <laughs> our ride up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> they're, they're full of blood. I know. They're vegetarian, I promise. I've had these really? before. Really? Yes. Oh! <laughs> well then. It's not actual marshmallow. Okay. What a good girl you are, Lala Gushes. I really ought to give you a reward right now. I think we're about to get married. Sounds awesome or something. She pauses and you wonder what she's up to. All goes on. But I have just the tiniest bit of doubt left. Oh my gosh. Of course she does. <laughs> we knew this. Come on. If you do just one more thing for me, I'll be completely convinced of your innocence and you'll receive a wonderful reward. Neat. <laughs> Somehow, you don't quite believe her. I want to have Pandora's box. Oh, it is said that whoever that owns it would be in possession of the purest evil. Okay. So of course she wants it. Yeah. While well, its red eyes glows, she explains, with the power and evil of Pandora's box, I would be unstoppable. She is sounding like a human villain. Yeah. <laughs> totally spelled her. Your terror returns as you realize what an evil being a lot really is. You wonder if you should be helping her in this way, but what can you do about it? Nothing. Right now. Uh-huh. I don't know the whereabouts of Pandora's box, a lot tells you. You must search for it yourself. Okay. And she orders her henchman to take her away. <laughs> I can't imagine why anyone would think this is a trap. Oh, that's you! Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, now I don't know where to search other than going back to that cave with the... the thing. And there's the house. I don't have any sheet music yet, though. Oh, right, yeah. How I got into the ogre's house? Uh, I just waited for the uh, the ogre's wife to come back with her hunt. And the, then the door wasn't locked anymore because there was someone in the house. Yeah, we've been behind the waterfall. There's a creepy cat ah! with an ogre. Oh! Well, now I know why someone said double, double, boil, and trouble earlier. Well, 
whatever the line is. <laughs> Three, dreary, three old one-eyed crones inhabit this very cave. They possess a glass eye, which they pass from one to another that enables them to see. Oh, that's creepy. Through, through the glass <laughs> eye, they each in turn peer at you with a frightening mixture of curiosity and malice. Um, it might be a little late, but I'll just save here. We can always go back. Yeah, basically, for those of you that missed the story, what's happening is we're having to do these errands for this Lolot person because she stole an amulet from another fairy, Janesta. And without the amulet, Janesta's health is fading. So we kind of have to like get the amulet back. But she won't give us the amulet back until we do her bidding, apparently. <laughs> Which evidently means sacrificing us to a whole bunch of other creepy things. <laughs> uh, um, hold on. I bet you would confuse them with the gold ball. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. I love it. I spell that right? Yep. I wasn't looking. I was reading chat. <laughs> Too late. Dope. <laughs> huh. Yeah, can we just take oh, the eye? Oh, there's that one holding the eye over there? But how is that other one chasing us? <laughs> oh. Hold on, they can all grab me. Play this time. Interesting. How close do you have to be? I mean, if we get too close, they take us. Oi. What? How does this work? <laughs> I love that the answer to everything is just shoot them with the arrow. <laughs> or with a bow. Give ball, maybe? I don't know. That would not accomplish anything. I love it when it says that. <laughs> this is stressful. <laughs> Bath, but not this hot. That's great. Oh, better things to do. That seems like a really good thing to do, actually. Game. <laughs> yeah, I don't think pushing the cauldron is doing it anything. It doesn't seem to, yeah. It's telling us that we don't have time for that or whatever. Yeah, we've been trying to get the glass eye from the ones at the top, but it either tells us we're too far away or we get close enough and they grab us before we can take the eye. Get the eye while they exchange it. How can you, oh, can you see when they're exchanging it? Oh, you can. Yeah, okay. Oh. I just, yeah. Oh, the two of them are swapping the eye. Yeah, evidently. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's gonna be tricky timing. <laughs> so there's a moment where they're all blank. Oh, <laughs> it's stressful. I see it now. Yep. I hadn't seen it either. Oh my god, that timing. Okay, that's impressive. Just managed to snatch a glass eye from the grass of the old witches. Now they're totally blind and helpless. What about the one that was chasing us before like crazy though? I mean, she clearly knew we were there. Back her eye. Uh, give ball yeah. to witch. Oh, okay. Give eye to witch. Oh, hold on, I should save first because yeah, I don't want probably. him to do that shit again. Probably. Yeah. Toss the glass side to the fleeting witches. Ah, foolish girl, I shriek. Leave us be or you'll flavor our brew. Okay. Um, like, are we you supposed know, to do something in here before we give the eye back? Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah. There's a, there looks like a loose rock over there or something. Yeah, it kind of does. Or maybe we're supposed to take one of the pot, like the vials or I don't know but yeah it looks like we probably have to do something and then give it back and leave <laughs> I 
knew Rosella was really Perseus. <laughs> no, I tried to do something with the skull. Take skull. Take bottle. Why can't we just lay um, our freaking inventory? Yeah, that's weird. Um, can you walk through the nostrils? <laughs> or can we take one of those? Put I in butt. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> she really can't get close to that cauldron. Oh, hold on. Really? There we go. As you re-enter the dismal cave, one, uh, the three one-eyed witches throw something towards you which lands on the ground. Here, take it! They cry, it'll ward off the undead. You'll need it. Now please give us back our eye. Oh, so they got upset and scared that you stole their eye, so they're willing to trade you. Okay. Take Scarab. I was hoping they would just give me that when I give them their eye. Right, yeah, I know. I guess you have to... Give yeah, eye have to, to which... Throw the glass eye to the three old hags who once again take turns peering oh. at you. Come closer, dear. I'd like to give you a little gift. That, um, I yeah, I, I don't think so. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> They're zombies. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Fails like, no, no, don't give the evil witches their eye. Just keep it. <laughs> That's true. I could have kept it. There was no reason to give it back to them. I guess not. After they gave me the amulet. I guess not. There we go. That's how we get time to pass. Ooh. Darkness unfolds here. So now so things are different. We're definitely like, yeah, time is definitely passing, and Vanessa is, you know, getting closer to dying. That's true. Now, That's not great. Now we go to the old house. Oh, the organ? Mm -hmm. Right, because we didn't, we still didn't really know how to get anything to work there. I know, right? Mm. They'll tell you what an evil princess tormenting blind old ladies to get a thing. Yeah, like seriously. <laughs> we're not a very nice person sometimes. No. I mean, we're befriending unicorns to give them to evil witches. Yep. <laughs> Probably aided. No, we're gonna we're gonna ride out of the unicorn there later after we defeat it. I hope so. I would really hate it if we just, yeah. I'm really worried about that unicorn, okay? <laughs> What's that you hear? Why, it's the sound of a crying baby, and it's coming from upstairs. That's Gotta go upstairs right away. Sudden. Like there was nobody here before. Hear baby crying. I'm coming, baby! I'm coming! <laughs> oh, Lord! <laughs> huh. This is creepy. Look. Oh, crying baby seems to be in here. Look, crib. The baby cradle rocks to and fro as the baby's voice wails from within. Look, baby. With trepidation, you peek into the rocking cradle and see nothing. Tentatively, you reach your hand into it. There's nothing there! Yep, definitely creepy. I, I, I was correct. Oh, Called I'm, it. I'm, I'm at that lamp. Maybe it should be closer? Or... No, I don't know. Alright, well, finally look in the bed. Yeah. <laughs> look under bed. Nope. Okay. Well, it's worth a shot. You never know. Your baby crying. I know, but. Unless I can give the baby something. Local for Loki's asking, anyone else remember an old war game from this time period? I think it maybe it was called Global Conquest? Seems like a thing you would know about if, you know, if any of us. Mm, doesn't ring a bell. Okay. I wouldn't know. How was Ghost Baby formed? I know, right? <laughs> Play the organ again? Mm, all right. He's like, but I don't want to have to deal with those stairs ever again. Yeah, give give something to the baby, maybe. Yeah, yeah I wonder the golden what the ball. ball is. It like a rattly thing, maybe. It might be. Give X. I think this house is haunted. You think? <laughs> what if I give the scarab to the baby? I wondered about that too, honestly. You scarab on baby. I mean, veil. A scarab sounds like a thing that you know a baby would love to play with, right? Mm-hmm. When a mommy ghost and a daddy ghost love each other very much. <laughs> Give ball to baby. Which grand can baby go to? Give scarab to baby. Hmm. Call 
crown to feather. Baby. Don't just leave it. Give crown to baby. Oh, yeah, can Talk we play the baby. flute for the baby? Or the lute, or whatever sort of instrument it is? Oh. <laughs> play music for baby? I don't know. Um, Catherine, dear, there's nothing in the um, pot in the kitchen. We checked. It was empty, apparently. Hmm. Peacock feather? Tickle the baby? I mean, the baby that we can't see? <laughs> Shoot it with the bow. You guys. <laughs> Hit baby with shovel. You guys are awful. <laughs> Baby's like boards. Axe the baby. Oh, you're terrible. Sing to baby. Oh, that's an idea. Try talking to it. Yeah, but singing is a baby thing. There we go, maybe. Attempt to sing a lullaby. Oh. Doesn't work! Ah! So maybe we do have to play the organ for the baby. Or maybe we have to find a baby rattle, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Like, I mean, there's all kinds of things with drawers in here. Can we open any of them? Is that a box beside the drawers? And there's more drawers on that side, too. Check the organ. Maybe there was maybe there was sheet music there we never saw, but I thought I thought maybe, it was something we had to get. Maybe just playing the organ will suit the baby. I don't know. Someone's wondering if we have to like go to the cemetery and look for like a grave associated with the baby or something because it's a ghost oh, baby. First of all, there might be ghosts in the, in the cemetery at night. Oh, that's true. I was thinking come here. Yeah, yeah. But let's go to the cemetery. Maybe we have to do both here and the cemetery. Yeah. <clears throat> Pick up ghost baby. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Trying to sue the baby you can't see. I bet you the baby's been buried with a rattle. And that's what we're going to dig up. I think, yeah, that sounds reasonable. So we just have to find... Oh, there really are zombies. Do not want. Well, I'm protected. Maybe yeah. I'm only protected once. Oh, is the scarab supposed to protect us from zombies? The that undead. Does? Okay. Oh boy, there's a bunch of them. Maybe they aren't going to bother us. Oh god, there's a bunch of them. This is disturbing. This is so creepy. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, one of these, probably, is where we want to dig. It's totally thriller time. This is thriller. Thriller. Put baby in front of TV and go to the club. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, zombies everywhere. Maybe it's the little blue one. That's why it's standing. Maybe. Out. And I tried to read the tombstones. Well, I could read this one. Yeah. Maybe I can read more of them and we give us a hint. We will try the little cross and yeah. I don't think there was anything to read here. You're just digging up the whole grave. We're, we're wonderful people. Yep. <laughs> Resurrection men, that's what we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. She done. She done. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, they say different things than before. Dentist Brown, stranger, approach the spot with gravity. John Brown is filling his last cavity. <laughs> Thanks, my friend. Ashes are featured in my. Yeah. Maybe this one. Grave robber princess. Yeah. Happy birthday! I got you grave robbing. <laughs> Drink good ale, good punch and wine, and live to the age of ninety-nine. That's great. I love that. Speak the rest. Um, you may weep, I'll smite my breast. Grief preventing. And this stone, too small to be written on, only this. A little boy, Willie, in Abram's bosom laid. There we go, that's oh, probably it. That sounds right. Mm, yep. Merging. Oh, I'm, am I becoming one with the darkness again? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have to turn to like type on my, on my laptop. I'm digging in the right place. Are you allowed to have puns on your gravestone? I think you can put anything you want on your gravestone. 
Maybe that's better because the hole is right in front of it. It looks directly in front, yeah. I mean, it feels like the right thing. It does. I mean, we don't really know what we're doing, apparently. Digging up a whole graveyard. Ugh, really? So what do we do? <laughs> oh, I broke my shovel! Seriously? Maybe it hit something. Is that why? Did it break hitting a box or hitting... I don't know. Maybe it was the wrong baby. Dear wife, there's something like the ghost of life. Shubs may wither and all earth must rot. Shubs may survive. I nope, sorry. Didn't get the <laughs> oh my god, you think heaven will not? Yeah. That's creepy and mean. <sighs> no, that's kind of boring. <laughs> there is a crypt on the right, but we don't have the key for it. Oh, it's locked. Not I'll miss him. <laughs> Such a miser. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Ouroboro. Thorps Corpse. Come on. Oh, well, how do you get close enough then? Exhume baby, yeah. There's a body of Marianne Louder. She burst while drinking a uh, Setlitz powder. <laughs> she called from this world to her heavenly rest. She should have waited till it effervesced. Oh my goodness. Splash just said my daughter just asked you to go back to the witches. <laughs> my three daughter who died drinking Cheltenham waters. If we had stuck to Epsom salt, we should not sleep in this cold vault. Hmm. I mean, the one feels like it's clearly the right one. It does. I still think maybe we just broke it on something and we needed to examine it after it broke. Maybe. Like, like it and, hit a coffin or something. And yeah, Sakura, I was wondering about that, if like I should write dig grave specifically. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Colonel Sidequest is saying you cannot waste a dig. That so feels... Oh, maybe I've got to keep digging in the same place. Oh, maybe, yeah. Oh, I, I took that comment to mean something else, but I see what you're saying. And yeah, maybe that. Yeah, definitely try to dig grave for sure. Are graves beside the house? I don't think so. I don't remember. I think there was one. Maybe. There was something that looked like it might have been. I don't know. Oh, maybe we just needed to know the baby's name. That's possible. Like from the... The tombstone. It could be. That's possibly a thing. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like a, maybe a grave there. I think it's a section of wall. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. So a grave on the right with a black fence. Oh. Oh, back it surrounded there. Mm-hmm. Can we get to it though? Whoa. It's always tired. She lived in the house where help wasn't hired. <laughs> last words on earth were, Dear friends, I'm going to where there's no cooking or washing or sewing. <laughs> for everything there is exact to my wishes. For where they don't eat, there's no washing nor dishes. Aww. I'll be where loud anthems will always be ringing. But having no voice, I'll be quit of the singing. Don't mourn for me now. Don't mourn for me never. I'm going to do nothing forever Aww. and ever. Aww. My poor baby. <laughs> hmm. Nice little boy, Willie. Oh, right. Like, it feels like... Yeah, we tried the cross first. She don't remember. That <laughs> one makes me laugh. Just to make me surely. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh yeah, is there anything to read on the crypt? That's not it. Yeah. Boy laid on Abram. Where's Abram's grave? Well, oh, is that a thing? I guess. <laughs> Huh. Doesn't seem right. I don't remember an Abram. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no. Tomb. Yeah. <laughs> Dentist Brown. A lot of these don't even have names. <laughs> good. Oh, yeah. Good punch and good luck. Oh gosh. 
That's yeah. funny. I will go again and try the one with the tree. The thing is, we'd already looked at all those. Mm -hmm. No, we can't open the crypt without a key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the wife. No name. Can we read the big one? Strong effect was my frame, far from my native home I came, and manly fought with Simon Byron, alas but lived not to return. Reader, take warning by my fate, lest you should rue your case too late. If you have ever fought before, determine now to fight no more. Oh my gosh, okay. So I'm allowed to play like Uncle Peter Daniels, who early in the month of May took Aww. off his winter flannels. <laughs> Sweet beneath this funeral wreath is laid upon the shelf when Jerry Jones, who dealt in bones, and now he's bones himself. That's weird. Okay. And if we check the bottom left. Oh yeah, there is one like behind the tree, way in the top there. Oh. Open sesame should open everything. Yes, yeah, totally. Oh, there's a baby son. It's six months. Oh. Go to sleep. Huh. Okay. It's a different baby. So maybe the other one was a young boy, not a baby. Maybe. Carefully dig a we small hole the in the door. This is so tiny and hidden. This is bull. I know. Success. Oh my god. We win. We win all the things. Such insanity. We win all the things. It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> Open door. They're laughing at us. Rattle belongs in the museum. Hey, welcome back, Rhino. Is that you here? Why, it's the sound of a crying baby. Yes, I know. Yeah. I know. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. Trust us, we're very aware. Yeah. <laughs> I has a rattle. Just throw the crap at the baby. Here. <laughs> Don't breathe easy yet. What? Oh my god, that's adorable. Okay, Katie said for the last five minutes her baby son has been tapping full space on the monitor saying pretty. <laughs> that's so sweet. Give rattle to baby. I mean, you are pretty. Yes, I am. <laughs> Drop the silver rattle into the baby's cradle. As soon as you do, the crying of the baby ghost and the rocking of the cradle cease. You breathe a big sigh of relief. Oh, goodness. But now what? It doesn't matter that the rattle's dirty. The baby is a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wait, what was that? Moaning and rattle heavy chains. Blah. So there's another ghost. We're gonna have to dig up another grave. You know we're playing another game after this, right? Because this game's gonna creep me out. Right. Okay, just saying. I bet you we have to dig a ton of freaking graves. That's why they said Lovely. don't waste Ew. a look. Oh, I can't type. Ghost of a stooped old miser trudges through the house, lugging heavy chains behind him. He moans loudly in frustration and appears to be searching for something he can't find. He's probably looking for a damn key. Yep. Take the baby. We can't take a ghost baby. We can't see the baby. <laughs> Where's your key, man? Oh, is he going to the organ? Or, no, he's just disappearing into the wall. Okay. Ghosts are creepy, you. Dude. Just be it. If you want agriculture, just be it. To grow any food, the pollen must move. Release all the drones to put on their groove. When you find the right plants, you must do the right dance. Just be it. <laughs> I don't know how you come up with this stuff, even heck. <laughs> if you had kept, kept the eye, you would have seen the baby. Really? Oh, wow. Oh, man. I love that they have all those little things in here that you can do things a little bit differently and different things might happen. Mm-hmm. I feel like not enough games do that now. Like, they're they're either totally sandbox and you just do whatever, or they're like, follow the story, you know? <laughs> I mean, he's just, he's just chained. He's just manacles. I don't... It doesn't say anything about what he's dragging. <sighs> Heavy chains. But under the carpet, is there a key? Under the rug? Oh. 
or we just have to go to another grave. Like, keep digging graves. Man, the music is jamming. Yeah, Quill loves the, the music in this game. Okay, that's the wife. Oh, yeah. Soldier. Yeah, I don't that's remember the big who man they were. Fight. Right. Oh, he was a miser. Yeah, but I don't know why the people are pointing out the miser as being a thing. I don't know. Did it not say he was a miser? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Probably the other side, just to vary things. I just realized there was a, uh, a cross on the ground there. I didn't notice it before. <laughs> oh, there's a lady. A seltzer lady. <clears throat> Three daughters. I let some. Oh, they, they are saying that the description of the ghost did say he was a miser in the first line or something. I think so. Oh, okay. So that was the miser here. Like a lot of people are saying it, so yeah, I must have. Alright, dig, <clears throat> grave. Do you know to whom the house belongs? No, not mm -mm. really. It's a dead baby as far as we can tell. I don't know. <laughs> this is where we start digging up everyone's grave, yep. <laughs> Found a bag of gold coins! Oh, gosh. Well, that doesn't seem like that's going to help the dude. He's got chains on him. It's Marley's ghost. So, that's so, what he's looking for. I assumed he was looking for a key. All this time he's looking for his gold. Come on, ghost. Where are you? Here, ghosty, ghosty. Ghost. Give gold to ghost. He just wants his money back, yeah. <laughs> you offer a bag of gold coins to the old miser ghost. He greedily snatches it from your hands and then promptly disappears. All right then. Now what? Now who, yeah. Then woeful weeping floats down from upstairs. Oh, up and down and up and down. Well, she's getting her exercise. <laughs> That's true. Working those glutes on these steps. Hey, welcome back, J10. This game was blamed for the rash of grave robbery in the U.S. during the <laughs> early 90s. I can see that happening. Like, people blaming it for that. That's funny. I bet you I need it. I, the eye would have made this a little simpler. It must be the other room. Belf Knights is my bank rejects a donation website. Oh. Doe. I'm sorry. Someone lying in the bed? Oh. Oh. I also just noticed there's a... Hatch in the ceiling. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Look, ghost. A lot of needy dead people here about Sad <laughs> ghost of a beautiful young woman. She sits in a rocking chair and weeps as if her heart will break. Aww. Beautiful young woman weeping as if her heart breaks. Someone okay. lose. Well, I mean, she's the dead one. Now, there's the thing about bearing her three daughters. Oh, that could be a thing. That seems reasonable. Or it could be somebody who was a widow when she died, or lost a baby, or, I mean, I mean, she might be the mother of the baby, right? Was there a name that would connect it? Yeah, maybe. There was or the soldier, yeah. I don't know. Was there one that died I mean, in here's the soldier. But that doesn't sound right. It sort of doesn't. It's like, oh yeah, she won't come back. Thank God. Is she weeping for her soldier? Yeah. I'm wondering if like his grave might even have something. Oh, thank you, Coffin. I'm gonna try. You don't have to give me a pop-up every time for the zombies. <laughs> yeah, like I we, got it now. We know. We understand how this works. No, nothing. Oh. Okay. So, reload that. Because it seemed reasonable that, yeah, maybe she wanted, like, a, a thing of his. Like, you know, she died of heartbreak and mm -hmm. she wanted something of his. Yeah, it might be the other side. Could be the baby. There was a, a few ladies. Yeah, there were. I didn't try the other side just because... Yeah, if it actually says someone dies of heartbreak, I mean, that seems like, <laughs> you know, 
Seems pretty obvious. Grave of the lover who died at sea. Yeah, there might be a thing that we just. There's so many of them now. I don't. I can't remember half of them. Couldn't sorrow and grief made her decay when she lost her love at sea. Yep. Okay. That seems reasonable. Super does. It really is the bee's knees. Totally. Mm hmm. I don't think the painting gave any clue. Yeah, we felt like the paintings must be something, but we couldn't get anything out of them when we looked. Other than hint for the secret door, but not the two main. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I keep, like, kicking you and poking you. A lovely you. logic. That's Apparently okay. I'm just, like, beating on him today. It's like, thank you for, you know, hosting another charity stream. <laughs> <laughs> Open door. Oh, you okay? My right foot does not feel good from holding all... Everything else up. <laughs> yeah, we, we saw the shuffle breaking after using it a few times. So it's a little bad. Hopefully we get through all of it before it breaks. And the lovely locket to the distraught goat. The locket seems to make her very happy and she vanishes in the thin air. Her lover's probably the guy inside the whale. Oh my god, I wonder if it is. Oh my god. That's funny. James. No. James. <laughs> No, Gilbert is not here with us. He's he's back in Canada with mm -hmm. Ava and Briar and Bella and everybody. Oh. Well, that's an interesting fellow. I've encountered the gentleman ghost of the distinguished lord of the manor. Ah, okay. He wails despondently as he seems to be looking for something he desperately wants. Okay. Well, we definitely saw a lord Wellingly or something. Yeah, where? I feel like it was on the side with the tree. Okay. But I'm not 100% sure. Thank you, Duke Rascal. Probably looking for his missing leg. Yeah. I don't know which one it was, though. Maybe that one. Well, this is the miser. Oh, right. Shoot. I'm still gonna load the command here. I feel like it was one of the tombs over here, but... I might be wrong. If he's the guy in this crypt, we're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> yep, Mary. The doctor. I don't even remember seeing that one. Jerry Jones, uh -huh. Delton Bones. Was it? Is it the big box? That's the guy who fought. Oh. So I just remembered it wrong. I'm sorry. Of course I would send you the wrong way. Of course I would. <laughs> I like have a terrible sense of direction. <laughs> I was laughing last summer when I was here in Scotland. I was um, I spent the day in Glasgow one day, and I mean, I know my way around the sort of city centre of Glasgow relatively well. It's you know I don't get like lost or anything like that. But I had my Google Map out just to because I was looking for specific places while I was there because I was trying to be efficient and whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was like every single time I turned the wrong way. I, I just it's like I can read a map. And yet, somehow, every single time, I turn the opposite way of the way I wanted to go. My sense of direction just apparently sucks. <laughs> Bottom grave at right of tree. What we... <clears throat> oh, right, we didn't check those two at the bottom of the tree because we had just looked at them last time. And we... One of them is a woman, but one of them is soldier? Lord Welling... Willingly or something, isn't it? Oh, maybe. Well, someone else is saying it, so at least it's not just me thinking it. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Or Con Con yeah, he's a soldier. And maybe he lost his leg in the war. I mean, it may not be him, but that's what I thought immediately. Silly that we couldn't have, like, dug these up before and gotten the thing, because we dug here and we didn't get anything. I know, like, it should have still given us something, yeah. But I guess we didn't know what to look for. We read the stone that's fallen over. Do you mean that saying what about the flat grave stone? What do they mean? Which one? Well, the one, I don't know. That one? That one? Or is it that? Like, I don't know. Uh, gotcha. Find impressive Medal of Honor. Hmm. Well, that seems reasonable. It better be the last one. <laughs> and you would assume the Lord would have a fancy grade, but apparently not. Well, maybe there's someone else yet. We don't know. Is he not here? Oh, he might appear in different places. Did it say upstairs? I thought it did, but... I just saw loud wailing, so... Anguished wailing at G. Hmm. 
Maybe he's back upstairs now. I thought it said upstairs, but I, I don't know. Maybe? Might be in the master bedroom now. Yeah, he might just be wandering. I don't know. Goddamn ghosts! <laughs> like, can you please help us out here? Just like, up here. Maybe he's in the kitchen? In front of us. <laughs> like, you're a ghost. So, just. There, there we is. go. <laughs> Give metal to ghost. The metal takes it from your hands, great reverence, set aside, finish, and then enter. <laughs> I wasn't done reading the first line, you were like done. <laughs> a cute little boy ghost suddenly appears. He grins mischievously at you, begins to giggle, and runs from the room. Okay, well, we definitely this is saw different. a young boy. Yeah. Ah, nearly <laughs> giggling as the little boy ghost runs from the room. Oh. Yay! I love how the incorporeal ghost puts down a totally corporeal letter. Ghosts can totally move things. Oh, donations are over 90%. <gasps> what, 90%? <laughs> we did say we weren't going to look again until they hit that, but... Well, boy ghost laughs and refuses to budge from his seat on top of the chest. He might, might help if he had a toy to play with. Huh. So what kinds of toys do you like? Well... The ghost little boy just looks at you and laughs. Why oh, so we have to remember what we have, seriously? <laughs> or do we have to go retrieve his toy? We probably have to retrieve his toy. <laughs> I wouldn't follow the ghost, you guys. <laughs> I wouldn't either. <laughs> but she can do whatever she'd like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Do, do, do. So it's probably the other boy's grave. Yeah, the one that we thought might be the baby at first. Yeah. Hopefully our shovel doesn't um, break before we get all this done. Yeah, I don't think we had an extra dig, but I don't know now. Uh, More grave robbing, yay! Like this. That's gonna be <laughs> fine. Dig grave. I need this uh, this uh, obsidian um, scarab for D and D. A yeah. toy horse. Oh, cute! A little boy after a kiss for Lex heart. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Open the door. <laughs> They're keeping count of our grave robbing level. <laughs> oh yeah. What level are we now? Five. They're saying. I think. Yeah. Yeah. When is the one falling a ghost ever ended well? Sure, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. More grave robbing. Give horse to ghost. You give the toy horse to the little boy ghost in hopes that he will vanish like the others before him. For a moment, you fear that he will not as he takes time to examine it carefully. Suddenly, he grins at you and twinkling disappears. Open chest. Look in chest. Peek inside the open chest and find an old set of sheet music. Take the sheet music and carry it with you. There we go. Yeah, see, I know, Ro. Honestly, I would probably have diverged from the storyline right from the start. My reaction to an ill family member would not be, I should jump through a magic mirror to find a magic apple. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Clearly just not a loving daughter. You know, and unreasonable. Oh, oh my god, that's funny. Wolfgang, wa Wolfgang wants us to play The Sims after and remake The Ghost Family. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should play the uh, the Sims next. I promised someone that I would play the Sims soon. Did you? Oh, yes, okay. and I have a family waiting to be played. Right? I, I didn't realize that. Well, I have I have Ty and his oh, dog right. Joe. Oh, that's right. Yes. And I heard about it. But yeah, I and maybe that's what we should play. For a while, yeah. Yeah, maybe you can drive for that and give my armor break. Of course, my my, my thing is creating characters. So if they're wanting to see me play The Sims, I don't know mm. if they want to see it take forever while I create a character, or if no. they're just wanting us to play it. Just play, just play Ty. <laughs> I don't know how to just play characters. That's not how I play The Sims. You can do it. I have faith in you. <laughs> I, what do you mean? Like, the, there's a game after character creation? Yeah, it turns out. Weird. Sit. <laughs> you... Play sheet music. We have several like subversaries today. It's awesome. Hey, Sosa Gong. Mm. Yeah, Kane really wants us to play Baldur's Gate. 
Yeah. I've been bugging me about it for weeks. <laughs> like, I can't birthday extremes coming up, right? <laughs> what are the chances you'll play Baldur's Gate? Like, Not great. <laughs> That's it, he's just trolling at this point. <laughs> yeah. We'd be down for two hours of essentially making Sims. <laughs> yeah. We could do that. <laughs> I think I gotta like lean back a bit. My bum's getting numb. Oh yeah, no, we can definitely. Oh, I need a little pillow. We'll have to take a break again between mm -hmm. between. But I think we're nearly done. So I can take care of my injuryness. But after character creation, there's house building. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a hell of a song. Two third of character creation. <laughs> Small drawers open in the organ. Oh, love you too, Vale. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> we has a key. I'm just impressed you guys are still going. It's been what six plus hours? Yeah, that's pretty much what happens mm. during this stream. That's why we only do these types of streams so often, because we'll be zombies tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> Zombies. Zombies, yeah. <laughs> what time does Briarstone start? It's going to be in just under two hours? Yeah, usually. Although I haven't heard from him, so I don't know if he's planning on or not. Yeah, tell him he has to, because I think that'll be my limit. That means we won't be able to squeeze in playing both Sims and Fate of the World, probably. Oh. People will be very disappointed if we don't play Fate of the World oh, on the charity stream. Right. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> I think at this point they're going to be disappointed if we don't play both of them, so I don't know either. <laughs> mm, yeah. Oh, be careful of the scarab tomorrow, because we'll be zombies. Ha ha. Mm, clicks. Open door. I did not expect this. Interesting. I mean, that explains the, how the scarab is fighting people off, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> Where's the whiskey? The whiskey's coming. Next break, the whiskey's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> One incredible place. This looks like an ancient burial tomb with hieroglyphics written on the walls and an old coffin against the far wall. A pile of rope is at the edge of the upper platform. You see an odd-looking little chest here. It must be Pandora's box. I'm kicking something. I'm trying to stretch okay. my leg. Sorry. I would normally expect that to be like Gilbert or Bella making noise. Yeah, I know. I was just missing Gilbert, so I'm being a cat. <laughs> Hey, Hooker Lord. Yeah, yeah, we're in the UK right now, so. Reach down and get the pile of rope. To your happy surprise, you find the rope is actually a rope ladder attached to the end of the platform. Well, no, duh. <laughs> Gladly, you throw the rope ladder over the edge of the platform where it falls to the floor behind. Right. Climb. You just want to kill me by, like, throwing me off the ledge. <laughs> I'm hoping this is actual floor. Yeah, look out no, for the mummy. It doesn't really We look have a scarab. Like... Runs from powerful scarab. Oh, phew. I don't know how we would have gotten to this point without the scarab. Yeah, I know. Take box. Should we open Pandora's box? <laughs> I mean... Okay, but you'll be sorry. <laughs> that was very foolish for them. Look what you've done, gone and done. You've loosened the terrible demons and killed yourself in the process. Oh no! I didn't see it coming. Oh, huh. Uh, Horribleness. Yeah, that, yeah. I are dead. I are dead. Game cannot be restored at this time. Oh, there we go. Boom. All right. I wonder if there's anything else, but probably not. Could like board up the zombies' uh, sarcophagus. Okay. Time to blow this pop sand. Mary Edgar. <laughs> Inside the box, Spanish Inquisition. Right, because I didn't expect it. Oh no. Well, it's goons. You died so hard, there's no restoring. <laughs> oh. Hmm. So yeah, chat will have to let us know. Maybe you can do a straw poll. If they'd rather watch you play The Sims or play Fate of the World. While I drink whiskey on the side. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping that we'd squeak both in, but it's I didn't I know. know how long this was gonna take mm. either, so. Oh, there, Rosella. Oh, she has, finally asked her name after all this time. Rosella, what a pretty name. You wonder what this is all about. <laughs> no kidding. What is going on? You find out soon enough. Well, Rosella, Lolot grins ominously. You've earned your reward! Yeah, I'm not sure I believe you. At this point. My son, Edgar, has fallen in love with you. I wish him to be oh. happy. And I give you the honor of oh. being his wife and my daughter-in-law. Yeah, honor. Shocked, shocked by the sudden development. Your heart turns, flips, and somersaults as you hear this. Yeah, no kidding. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, you'll be married first thing in the morning, she informs you. Yeah, this is very close to done. Yeah, well, it feels like it is, mm -hmm. yeah. You will sleep in Edgar's room tonight while my son sleeps Ugh. elsewhere. What? I'm confused, but okay. <laughs> oh, because we're not getting married yet. Yeah, she motions to her goons. She's old, she, you know, old school. Let yeah. us relieve you of your burdensome load before you retire. Wait, I guess that means our inventory's gone. Including the apple! Did we need the... Oh, You're we You're shocked need by the, the stretch of your that you uh, hardly noticed your possessions being taken away. <gasps> to her goons, Lala orders, escort our Rosella to her room. Huh. So we have to get our stuff back? Shoot him with the bow, maybe it'll undo his love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a bow. Now what? All right, we don't have any of our stuff anymore. Looks like there's remotes on the dresser. That's weird. Quite comfortable. Look under bed. Nothing under the bed. Look dresser. Chest of drawers with a mirror on top. Take mirror. Look mirror. You look, oh, I see. And you see the reflection of poor but beautiful peasant girl. That's really helpful. It looks like there's a cleaver on there. Like, take cleaver? Open drawer. It's private. Oh, come on! Look under rug. Small well, rug lies, yes, I realize that. Look window. Oh my god! You hear something at the door. It's Edgar. Um, open door. Maybe if he actually really oh. loves us, he'll give us their stuff back and set us free. Set us free. Oh. Look. Keyhole. Talk. Edgar. There we go. What? So he's just randomly oh. creepy, creeping outside the door? What? <laughs> this beautiful red rose has been pushed under your door. You pick it up and carry it with you. Huh. Okay. See nothing special. What do we do with a rose? Yeah, do something with the candles, Demonac is suggesting? She can't get that. Hmm. What? Well, the rose isn't helpful. <laughs> yeah, maybe the rose had a key on it? Yeah. I mean, we can't look at our own inventory. Yeah, I know. They, they think that there was a key attached to the rose in the image. Oh, there was. Yeah, but I couldn't look at the rose. Yeah. I guess they just happened to notice it. Wow. <laughs> good that eyes, That was guy. dumb. Very good eyes. Thank goodness we have extra people. Yeah. I mean, I thought I saw a ribbon, but that's why I kept looking. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to no. die on stairs. Possibly, yes. Welcome, Pedro Almeida, 77. 187. More stairs. The true enemy of this game. <laughs> the way we're really going to die. Yep. The key was inside you all along. <laughs> Hope that guy is asleep. Oh, yeah. Hard to tell, huh? Yeah, he's asleep. I fell in the last stair and he woke up. Amazing. We fell and he woke up? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and he sent us back upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was fine last time! Like, the mouse clicking made it so easy last time, but this time she's like, no, no, I must commit suicide. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm too concerned about my fate. Hi, Titus. <laughs> Stairs are the greatest enemies in adventure games. Yeah, evidently. It's, it's like um, the, uh, the gym itself in Pokemon. <laughs> Stairs are hard. Okay. Clearly. Let me make a separate save for this. Just, yeah, just in case. That's a good call. <laughs> Oh, we gotta take our loot, and we gotta get the amulet. Maybe everyone's asleep. Everyone's asleep! Man, these guards are incompetent. Quill's tombstone died in a tragic stair-climbing accident. 
Anything special. Look, throne. We're in a throne room. How do we see nothing special? I should sit on the throne. Or... Apparently I got a little too close to that guy, maybe, or something. Oh, no. I'm so happy you saved at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> maybe I just he waited He would have rage long. quit, you guys, if he hadn't saved. <laughs> he would have rage quit right there. Yep. <laughs> no more stairs. Pickpocket the guards. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Apparently there are more, more stairs. stairs. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, no. Game, what are you doing? <laughs> Maybe you should save. At the bottom of the stairs? Yeah. And at every step? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, every step. Every single one. No more stairs, find stairs instantly. Yeah, exactly. This is pretty much how this game has been going. <laughs> There's a game apparently called Stair Quest. Yeah. Colonel Side Quest this is actually really good. <laughs> Couldn't tell where the stairs are in here. I think I made it to the other staircase. That was weird. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh my god! Stop putting us back. Should have saved the top of these stairs. Yep. Save before and after all stairs always, apparently. So probably just don't go this way. Yeah, because there's an weight guard. Oh no. Okay. okay. That's fine. I'll just Give go this stairs. way. It'll be fine. She's just looking at me like, are you kidding? I know, right? <laughs> Two upsiders at the stairs. It'll be fine. Okay, yeah, apparently this queue opens everything. Well, that's handy. Thanks, Edgar. Now, <sighs> she's asleep. Question her taste in decorations of furniture has been on the gaudy side. And speaking of Lala, oh, that is sound asleep. Okay. Mm -mm. You saved right before coming in here, right? I totally did. Okay. Take amulet. Ah! She turned me into salt. He's totally awake, <laughs> Lala. Viper, she screams, quickly sits up, points an old finger at you, and zaps you into oblivion. <laughs> Yeah, stab the vampire in the heart, yeah. <laughs> is there something we can do to I don't think there's a chest at the end. Keep her asleep or Wake her up with true love's kiss. <laughs> Turns out that's the whole time what needed to happen. She just needed somebody to love her. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a bow. Is there like a? Is that a mirror or a chest? That's. There's a mirror there. Oh. Not a morning person. Yeah, clearly. I don't know where to get my loot from. Is the problem? I know. Like it feels like we must need our stuff. I can't. But... I don't think I can take the mirror. There was another doorway in the dining room. Was there? Right. I guess if I had. Good call, chat. Break the mirror on her face. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Do not like. <laughs> do, not do not like. <laughs> Essentia, make it stop. <laughs> make the stairs stop. I mean, do you want me to try? I don't think I'm going to be much better, but I could try. <laughs> You know what? Why am I autopiloting over here? Uh, oh. What? Taking your rose and no longer have a golden key. Looks like you're destined to be Mrs. Edgar. Uh, how about no? No. I agree with no. You're facing the stairs just to avoid that. You got brave. Is that a comb on the desk? Yeah, I was wondering that too, Hedwin. versus Ascension in an epic staring contest uh, or competition. Oh, that's funny. Don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up. Don't wake up, don't so wake yeah, up. So yeah, what happens if up? I go down here? Oh. Well, we have the keys, okay. What? 
Oh my god! <laughs> Grr, arc. Oh, wait, dining room. Dining room, they said there was another oh, door. Oh, yeah, but there's a dude over there. Is there a door here? I'm not convinced. Well, I mean, there's another one there, but it's right oh, by the guard. Oh, shit. How are we gonna get by that? I thought we tried that and we woke him up. Oh my god, we got in. I didn't think that was gonna be possible. Be sure to save immediately. Yeah, no kidding. Go to Castle's kitchen, not a very pleasant kitchen, but a kitchen nonetheless against the back wall. Two cabinets plank a cold stone fireplace. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The key to unlock the door is a five ninety nine DLC. Here yeah. early position. Take all. Alright then. Fully dishes. Take, Take all. all. <laughs> we pick up all the Flatware and place it in our purse. <laughs> All right, so I don't know how. Save, save, save. Yeah, I know, right? Save constantly now. I don't know how all the possessions are necessarily going to help us. I don't really know either, but presumably there's something. Okay, I got to do the stairs again. Oh. Pray for me, chat. Seriously. Give me your energy. Seriously. Everyone. Focus. I mean, I know we've all been about saving the bees, but right this minute, Be save Quill. Save Quill. <laughs> well, there's something under the table. Hush! There can't be. We're not going back down. <laughs> Clean dishes. Can you get water from the kitchen to throw on the witch? Yeah. I should admit that would make sense with a lot of the other things going on. Get me through the door! Um... Guys? I, well, I hate to say this, but you might have to finish this one by yourself because I, I, I kind of have to buy it. <laughs> I can't get through the, bo the, the door. It's broken. Oh my god. Okay, well, um. Um. Into the door. We're trying, you guys. It's broke. It's already open. <laughs> I tried to close it. Shoots the place it, from a distance. Yeah, I know, right? Skeleton key. If... Where's the entrance? Well, guys, we're trying to enter the door. It won't let us. Let's try to restart the door. Restart the door, yes. It's probably because like it got confused because I I opened it and closed it again. I mean, yeah, we could go back to another save and do it again. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so this is there. Okay. See, so, yeah, it's not it's not so bad. But we haven't gone to the kitchen though, right? No. Okay. I know you're in a hurry and you're anxious, but it might there might be a better way to get there. No, it's the fastest way down. <laughs> We've been hanging out with all these magical creatures. We think we can fly now. I believe I, I can fly. fly. You, you believe? I believe I can Touch kiss this guy. <laughs> I'm going to replace the escape because that was the later one that's glitched. Oh, okay. More haste, less speed. <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> this guy's really rude. The fact that they positioned him there. Yeah, that really sucks. Less than 300 to go. Oh my god. Guys, you gotta like... What? <sighs> we gotta really celebrate when we get this. If we ever get this. <laughs> it's a pretty big if. Fuck I off. I don't go! Go! Get the foot door! Oh my god, the stress. <laughs> I don't want to miss the end of the... Game. Do you think I have time to, to, to run bio and get yeah, back to Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I won't do anything with the witch. Okay. Take all. I'll just get there. Okay. Oh, try not to fall. You're not close enough. Ow. There you go. Ow. Take all the shit. Also, I'm a uh, blind idiot. Oh, there's your water. <laughs> We're going to drink so much whiskey after this, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to whiskey my face off. I still have the backup save from before, like at the bottom of the stairs, or at the top of the stairs, just after leaving the first room. And we have the save slot of, oh, that almost fell down.
Okay. Unlock door. Um, unlock door with gold key, although maybe both of them works. Open door. Yeah, because you can't walk through the door. It's the act of opening the door that enters you into the room. That's what screwed us up. Wow, that is a really annoying glitch. And we could leave, though. Um, F5. So, I'm going to make a separate save for this at this point. 193. Take amulet. Okay. Although, right... Because they have to add an extra degree of difficulty here, we still can't access our inventory from this screen. Because why not? Because why not? Why, why, would, we, why would we want to be able to do anything? Um, so we can consider ideas. We're going to wait until the century goes back before it comes back before we click anything. But we're going to consider ideas. I'm going to have a tea cake. No, it's not a magic mirror, as far as we know. Just a normal one. I don't think there is a chest. I think it's just a bed. Back screenshot inventory. What's happening? No, we didn't miss the room halfway up. It's uh, It's got a guard there. All right. What's happening? I don't know. We're trying to decide what to do with the witch. Okay, so you got back in the room. That's that's a step yeah. <laughs> in the right direction. Well, that's her name, right? Uh, I think so. You aim the golden bow towards the lot. You let go of the bowstring. Zing! A direct hit! Let's sit straight up in bed, the look of agony upon her face. Oh my god. What did you do to me? She shrieks. I'm melting! Melting! Oh no, wait, that's god. another story. Hmm, let's try that again. It hurts, it hurts! Stop the pain! Stop it! You cringe as you watch the evil fairy die a painful death. What happened, you wonder? How could Cupid's arrow have done that? You thought these arrows were harmless and contained only love! They do contain only love. She's evil. Wait, that must have been it. Love. <laughs> well, it was so evil that when it, all that pure love entered her body, it acted as a poison to her system. In spite of yourself, you feel a sense of sweet revenge. So you only uh -huh. had two arrows. You had to use exactly one for the unicorn and exactly yeah. one for her. Nothing else. Otherwise, you can't win. That's awful. Or maybe there's another way to do it. I don't know. Yeah. As she breathes her last, Lot manages to gasp. I don't know how, but I'll get you for this. Cake. She'll get you. A bright new day is done. Pretty? Yep. <gasps> Edgar. I wonder if he's going to be, like, really upset, or... <gasps> Edgar bows to you, acknowledging his evil mother's death. He begins to say, You may now walk freely about the castle. I... And suddenly begins to blush. Huh. He's, like, really, actually, totally in love with us, even though we literally just killed his mother. Yeah, but she was pretty bad. Yeah, but... <laughs> it only says, okay. You take this amulet, and he's just... And the game's just like, okay. Sure. Good job. <laughs> we just got, like, a random thumbs up from the game. Yeah. Cool. Like, what? Two six. Okay. <laughs> this game is awful. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't it doesn't want to reward you for... Oh, no, that's... I was about to say, I know he said you The direction is really weird. We can through the castle, but we still have stairs to do with. Yeah. I have to, like... There you go. He didn't say, here, you have wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the game's all, like, cool story, bro. <laughs> Yeah, Ben, that's maybe... I don't know what's over here now. His mom was evil, but he couldn't kill her himself, so he loves you for doing it for him. Yeah, I guess. Oh, they're bowing. That's creepy. <gasps> it's the chicken. Oh, can we find and release the unicorn? That's what's here. Yes, Pandora's box and the magic hint. Take box. No. Take Pandora's box. Yes, we have now scientifically determined that the amulet does not Take grant hint. flight. <laughs> Okay. Where's Pandora's box? Oh, it's over here. I don't care about the Pandora's box. I care about the unicorn. Yeah, but I don't want to leave it with these people. That's what I'm saying. 
Oh. Well, either. Pandora's box. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Was... Oh, it's rope. I thought it was a portal. Yeah, me too. I thought it was a door or something. Yeah. Can't get that. Where unicorn? <laughs> you misspelled Pandora. Well, we must not have. If we got it. I mean. <laughs> or we did, and it just knew to look for typos. Oh, that's my cell. Oh. I thought I spelled it correctly. I know it popped up weird. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm wrong then. Oh. So we got this and that. I don't know where the unicorn is. It's not in here. Maybe it's outside. Must find unicorn. of doom they did this on purpose they knew exactly what they were doing oh i'm sure yeah I'm like well we got to stretch out the gameplay Can stairs open, yeah we're not opening pandora's box we did that once before it did not go well it was awesome it was awesome. <gasps> a stable was that a great chest someone's asking yay ride unicorn they're saying you're too hasty not enough lucky <laughs> don't trust you backs Wait, away i want you to go back to the chest yeah but dude we're trying to set you free is there a key that we need? In, you know, the chest that they're all yelling about? There was another chest. Not Pandora's. It's a big one. I might have, um... The bridal might be in here. Oh, there's a big chest here. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Feed it magic fruit. Yeah. Eat. We're not eating the unicorn. <laughs> I suppose I should have saved down there. Gate. They're saying gate, 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 open the gate. Oh. Yeah, but we're trying. And feed it K. Oh, they're trying all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and before I die, I do yeah. this this time. <laughs> it's like, I just did this. I can do this quickly, right? It'll be fine. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Term is stall. Try opening the stall. What are you talking about? Poor unicorn has been in prison here. Open gate. What do you mean I'm not close enough? <clears throat> what am I supposed to be close enough to? I still don't have the apple? No, I have a magic fruit. Yeah, but we, we, we need the apple, you guys. <laughs> we think. You just, just open the gate and let, open gate. You're not close enough. Oh, do we have to be close to like the edge maybe where the little, that's where it was. The second the other side? I don't know. I don't get this. I, 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 I love how the whole chest is going, free the unicorn, just free the unicorn. Oh, okay, we'll just free the unicorn. What do you mean? I'm not close enough. What am I not close enough to? Get in the middle of the room, head princess. Oh, wow. I guess I was blocking the door otherwise. Wow. Oh my god, that's horse shit. Thank you, Headwound. And this is the place where we find some horse shit. <laughs> as soon as you open the gate, the splendid wild unicorn patiently leaves its hated prison. It quickly trots out the open stable door to prison. But, but, but I want to ride you out! But we love you. We love you. Come back, unicorn. Aww. But we love you. <sighs> Make a separate save. <laughs> Unicorn is mean. Okay. Do they want us to go and find Edgar? What? <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of that. What happens if we go down? Yeah, I'm sure we can sit on the throne, but why would we want to? Probably bonus points. Oh, maybe. I'm gonna miss something. To be fair, you did betray its trust. Okay, you have a point there, Sakura. But we didn't want to. Oh, that's true, I did. That's totally legit. <laughs> so I'm thinking I swim back across. Time to save every ten steps. Yeah. Hope I don't get eaten by a shark. Can 
use unicorn on tree. Yeah, as far as I know, we took the amulet. I think it was just like, it was very like chill and low-key about it. They're like, okay, Talisman, cool. yeah. Take, take it. Sure, why not? <laughs> Oh god, you're going to need more energy to recover from all that walking and falling. May I suggest a quiz bar? Ah! Uh, oh, demon axe. Uh, <laughs> Do we have to follow the unicorn now? We don't know if we have to follow the unicorn. We just, you know, want to. <laughs> yeah, we grabbed the amulet. Whee! So if I hadn't caught a fish first, then I'd never been able to get the whistle. To get off that little island. Ah! Shark! Oh, no. It's a shark! Nope. They were saying maybe if you gave the fruit to the unicorn first and then release it. But don't we need the fruit for our dad? Totally need the fruit! Stop. I think that's the point, guys. <laughs> that's the whole reason we're on this adventure. <laughs> we need the magic fruit for our dad. I mean, that might be a thing that makes the unicorn happy, but then our dad dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I think we can, like, complete the game and get sent home. Oh, oh wow, God. really? Um, yeah, and then be like, oh, get there in time to watch your dad die. Lovely. Sucks to be you. That's awful. Give Fitchman the hand. No, we're taking it back so the kingdom's super rich. Hey, you probably did miss something for max points. That's what these games do. And then you're like, I have to replay it and find everything. Yeah, I have to try every yeah. verb, noun, combination, and every pixel of it's every screen. true. Need to return Pandora's box? Do we? To who? Where did we get it? Oh, the witches. No, we got it out of the, uh, the, the tomb. Tomb. Oh, that's right. Do we have to bring it back to the tomb? I don't know. No, man. You know, <laughs> keep it where it's safe in our kingdom. Which is more important, unicorn's happiness or the life of your old as heck dad? <laughs> He's lived a full life. <laughs> but the unicorn grants wishes. Oh, wow. Okay, that could be a thing. Maybe you, maybe if you give it to the unicorn, the unicorn grants you a wish that your dad stays alive. Maybe. That would have been interesting. You give the magic talisman, but unicorns don't grant wishes. They heal people with their horns. Yeah. Well, maybe he comes back with you and heals your dad. Oh, could and be. And then you keep you have a friend unicorn forever. <laughs> you know, Janesta is the good witch because her stairs her, have rail, guardrails. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're OSHA compliant. They're not like Star Wars where there's like no rails anywhere. Nothing bad ever happens in Daven Tree. Yeah. <laughs> you give the magic talisman to the dying fairy. Almost instantly, the color returns to her cheeks, and the green her green eyes begin to sparkle. She sits on bed, stretches, and smiles at you. Hooray! So why are you dependent on this talisman to survive? Like, what's the deal? What's the association? Is it some sort of like, it's like a horcrux or something? <laughs> you have saved my life, Rosella, the beautiful fairy says gratefully. And you have saved Tamir from the persecutions of Lolot. We are deeply indebted to you. I want to go outside. I need to feel the warm sun on my face. Oh, I know that feeling. <laughs> Exuberantly something. Suddenly find yourself outside. Well, she definitely has her mojo back. Yeah. My little hen, Janesta suddenly exclaims. Where ever did you find her? Oh, it's her hen. Oh. That's cute. Okay. You explain that the ogre had possession of her. Oh, she's petting the hen. <laughs> the souls of 10,000 unicorns are in that talisman to keep the evil fairy queen alive. <laughs> oh my god. Poor thing. Well, at least she's back home now. So I probably got bonus points for, for remembering to grab that. Yeah. Now for you, Rosella. It's my turn to help you out. I will return you to Daventry, and with the magic fruit, you will be able to save your father's life. We'd better hurry, though, as he doesn't have much time left. 226 or 230. Hmm. Yes, you are anxious to get home again. Uh, yeah, after this, I would imagine she would be. But first, let's replace those peasant clothes with your royal gown. Oh, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> With a twinkle in her eye, Janesta announces, There is someone else deserving of reward for his kindness and heroism. Edgar? Probably. I mean, hmm. the unicorn, but you know. You have a beautiful soul, Edgar, the fairy says to the ugly little man. You should look like what you are. <gasps> okay, I mean, really? Yeah. Judgy game much? Yeah, I know. Oi. Handsome hunk is Edgar? Oi. Wait, you couldn't love him before. <sighs> yeah, apparently not. I mean, he was pretty disgusting before. Yeah, but come on. Think about it. It's not about what's on the outside, people. You think about it some more. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> <Look at> this. <laughs> then, just say no. Sorry, Edgar. You're very sweet, but I must immediately return home. I mean, to be fair, she has a mission. Mm -hmm. She has to, you know, complete. She can't just run off with mm -hmm. dude. Yeah, perhaps we'll meet again. Say, say I like this. 
Maybe that's what episode 7 will be. Yeah, Time for you to go. go. Your father desperately needs you. Yeah, what are the four points? I know. Goodbye. We'll never forget you. Dude, he's handsome now and no mother-in-law. Oh, even <laughs> hey, some, some mother-in-laws are awesome. Give the healing fruit to your dying father and strongly urge him to take a bite, which he weakly does. Yeah, no, but clearly the heroine did not need a man, Katie, so it's all fine. Dad's pretty chiseled. How are you feeling, father? You excitedly ask him. Never felt better in my life, is his reply. What is in this fruit anyway, he wonders. Cocaine! It's magic, father. And you tell of your excited family of your adventure in Tamir. Yeah, those four points. Maybe if we did return the Pandora's box? Like, I don't know. Don't think you've through with this hat yet, you say. Your brother, Alexander, and your mother, Queen Val Valenice, readily agree. You've got too much life ahead of you. <clears throat> too much. Too much? Too what is too much life? <laughs> oh, you get two points for returning Pandora's box and two points for locking the crypt. That would have been 230. Oh, wow. Okay. So we could easily go and fill it in. Yeah. What is, what is too much life to live? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand this. <laughs> Everyone's just standing there with an awkward smile. A little bit. Can you, can you move here? Like, this is weird. What's happening? I think the game's over. Uh. <laughs> if this is more modern game, would be, what's in this fruit? Antioxidants. Yeah. <laughs> and you know why you need fruit? Or, 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 sorry, I said that wrong. We need antioxidants, so we need fruit. And thus, we need bees. That's right. To save the bees. <laughs> I can't move the mouse or anything. Yeah, oh! We literally can't do anything. So, all is well that ends well. Until next time, <laughs> goodbye! God, these are the greatest games in the universe. They're so good. We're just gonna stand here for a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Boom. Also get the bad enemy and you free it yourself, just see what happens. Oh, that's true. I could I could eat the fruit right before oh, returning things and see what happens. Oh, that seems awful. I think we're, we're just going to move on for now. Like, I, I, I would say feed it to the unicorn. I wouldn't eat it yourself. That just seems wrong. Mm-hmm.